In other news, Mateen Cleaves expects to spend a full day in court next month hearing from a woman who accuses him of sexually assaulting her. But there were fireworks in a Flint courtroom today and a hearing Cleaves did not attend. Let's get to Rod Maloney with more on some startling new revelations that came to light. Rod? Yes, Devin, you know, uh, this is one of those cases that's been controversial from the start. Mateen Cleaves not wanting to be in courtrooms to discuss this. His attorney saying it's all a smear campaign. And then the prosecutor's office here in Wayne County, which is helping out in Genesee County, is saying that Mateen Cleaves is getting uh, some preferential treatment here. Michigan State University star and former Detroit Piston Mateen Cleaves is already fighting some troubling charges, sexual assault, unlawful imprisonment, second and third degree criminal sexual conduct that could possibly net him 10 years in prison if found guilty. But special Genesee County Prosecutor Lisa Lindsay of the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office warned the judge in the case today that Cleaves could face still more trouble. Our office has been in receipt of uh, some information that there is another victim who uh, may be willing to come forward. So for that reason, um, we think at that time, Bond should be visited. That was a surprise to Cleve's defense attorney, Frank Manley, who set off some fireworks of his own in the hearing before Judge Kathy Dowd, complaining that his client is providing big media headlines while the woman who was accusing him remains anonymous, and the court wants it to stay that way. Show your face. If you're going to make these allegations, Mr. Cleves has been internationally exposed with these allegations. She needs to come forward. She doesn't need any protection. Lindsay says Cleves and his attorney are looking to frighten his accuser. This kind of broadcast them, intimidate them, bully them, make them afraid to come <coughs> forward. She will have her day in court as the defendant. And if the defendant is so anxious to have his day in court, how come he's out in the hallway? Now, Cleve's attorney is saying that this is all, again, a smear campaign. He believes that Mateen Cleves is going to be clear in all of these charges. The judge in this case has initially said that she doesn't want the accuser to actually be made public, but she said she's going to have a ruling in writing here in the, in the immediate future to determine that question. Back to you. So when does all this uh, head back to court then, Rod? June 28th, Devin, they're expecting it to go, as you said, a day-long case, which is going to have video in it that the prosecution believes is going to be very damaging to, to Cleves. Of course, his attorney is saying absolutely not. All right, we will be following it late next month. All right, Rod.